Here are some trees we did two years ago. I think it was two years ago. Man, they have really grown. Good looking trees, but what we're doing today is what we call pickup work. If uh, something doesn't grow well on a tree, uh, there's a couple that it didn't take, so we come back and add one on the side to fill out the tree. That's just something we do. We always come back and make sure we've got a nice full block of good trees. So there, Victor's put on four. Put a couple on there. So here and there, we're adding some. But overall, it looks pretty good. Well, I guess I'm the gopher today. I thought I was done, and I was going to go over to my son's house and uh, take care of a couple little things out in the yard there before they turn the irrigation water on. But Victor called me and said he needed some chainsaw gas. It appears that someone forgot to fill the gas can last night. I don't know who that could have been. Uh, anyway, so I went, turned around, went back home, got the gas. Now I'm out here and he tells me he needs some more graft wood, so <laughs> I'm on my way back home again <laughs> to get some more sign wood. Apparently there's a few more trees out there or, or they actually want more done than what really needs to be done. But that's okay, we'll do that. We'll make them happy. So, on the road again. And then I got to go pick up another client and go out and look at his trees we're going to be doing and figure out what rows we're going to put pollinizers in. Then I got to go look at another job that we grafted about six, seven years ago or maybe more. He wants to know if we can do them again, change them to something else now. The market went bad on the pina colada, so that's the name of an apple that we put on. So now he wants to put on something called a rojo. So we will see. I'm going to go see if we can regraft them again. I love this business. <laughs> one time in California, I grafted a one row for a guy three times before we left. He kept changing his mind, and we just kept cutting it down and grafting it again. <laughs> okay. something that might be of interest to some of you. This tree has been damaged, believe it or not, by beavers. They had some high water in here and the beavers came up from the river and they started chewing on these trees. So as you know, if a tree is girdled all the way around, it will kill the tree. But in uh, my rule of thumb on uh, in arch grafting is, or bridge grafting is if it's more than halfway around then it's better to just replace the tree but this one is less than half 
and so we can take a, a piece of wood of any variety it doesn't matter because we're just using this for a bridge and uh, that's how I got the name bridge grafting because that's what it is we're bridging over the damage so what we do is that's a really super straight cut uh, with grafting that's the key is to make these cuts very very straight so I'm going up to about here and also I need to cut exactly on the same side as I've cut before and uh, I'm going to clean off a little place here and get down into some some new wood Split this bark. See if it's slipping. I hope it's slipping. Yep. Well, that raises up. And I'll work this in under the bark. I'll go up over that damage. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to uh, clean up a little area. Get into some nice fresh wood. Split the bark. off the wood a little bit and then I'm going to bend this just ever so and it'll just ruin your day if you break that so you have to be very careful work that in take these little grafting nails this is a 1 by 18 wire nail Snug them up real good, not enough to damage the sign wood, the piece of wood I'm putting in, but snug that up real tight against the tree. One more on top. Paint in this area that I've cut will be painted over, and uh, as the years go by, this piece here will just get bigger and bigger, and it actually it starts to uh, it connects with the cambium layer here. And uh, the cells become vascular cells which will feed nutrients from the bottom on up over this damaged area and keep the tree alive so we don't lose the tree. I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera off but I'm going to put another one in there and that will bridge over that. That's called bridge grafting.